Hello everyone, it's Carl here at Ocales Journals and we're on to day 10 or prompt number 10 of Junk Journal January 2024 which is being hosted by Meg over at Meg Journals and as always all the um, information is in the description box below the video. So for this one I made myself a promise that I would actually use the papers from the previous prompt which was neutral and here I've just lifted out an another piece of the paper I used for the journal pages in my journal and because this page wasn't uh, coffee stained I'm just staining it here and dabbing off any excess I don't want it too dark onto that piece of uh, kitchen roll behind and then just going in with my heat gun to give it a quick blast of dry heat to dry it off as quickly as I could so now that it's dry I'm just measuring it or eyeballing it so that I have a piece that will cover the right hand side of that journal page and you can see there on the left hand side that is the page that I created for neutrals and it is those papers that were left over that I plan to use on this page or on the opposite page and the idea I had in mind was to create a frame with this piece of paper I'm fiddling with here and um, cut out a central uh, rectangle and create a lattice work in that rectangle with the leftover papers um, from the neutrals prompt. So here I'm bringing in my cutting board, I do a bit of measuring and start cutting out my frame. And that's what I'm doing here, just measuring out roughly where I want my frame to start at the top there. Measure a rectangle all the way around and then I go in with my X-Acto cutting knife. And it's whilst I'm doing that, I actually think, well, maybe I should check my leftover papers in more detail to see if I've got any that will actually be the right size for creating a lattice work in the frame um, that I'm about to finish off cutting. And as I go through these papers, as you can see, I only have a few that are going to be long enough for what I have in mind. So I rapidly have to rethink what I'm going to do today with those leftover papers. And I decide just to do a simple collage in the middle of my page and uh, leave it at that. So here I am just working my way through the bits of paper that I have left over to put together a rough collage and the thing that is the saving grace really uh, for this collage today is that piece of uh, vintage French book page I think it's French um, on the left hand side there underneath my hand because as you can see um, that page is folded in half and there are some beautiful distress marks from where the uh, staples were in the book and they are absolutely gorgeous so they actually add the colour to my piece today I was going to go in with uh, some distress stain vintage photo distress stain and my black Stabilo pencil um, but in the end I decide not to do that make life easy for myself and just rely on that lovely distressed um, marks that have been left by the staples. So here I'm going in with, I think it's a little bit of um, Japanese text just to add some interest. I'm ashamed to say that this page took absolutely ages today. Um, I wasn't, uh, obviously wasn't in the mood for creating today. I was fighting with this page from the moment I started really um, but anyway I just carried on building up my layers as best I could and rectifying any mistakes which is what I'm doing here where I've torn off too much um, I have some distressed vellum pieces there as well and you'll see me go in and add those This 
is a, another piece of that vintage um, book. And again, that's another piece of the um, staple markings or stainings. This is a piece of vellum, I believe. Yeah, this is a piece of the stained vellum. So really just feeling my way around this piece. At this stage, I hadn't um, moved away from the idea of um, using my Distress Stain. Um, so I was building up layers, and here you can see I've just gone in with some normal um, painter's masking tape, because I find this acts as a really good resist when I come in and use my Stibolo pencil. adding a bit of glue down one side of my piece and I'm just going to glue it on top of that vintage book page to get some more of those uh, to get some more of that staining from the um, from the staples and I was just using more and more of those pieces on my page and this is when I actually decided that I wasn't going to go in with any um, Distress Stain or my Stabilo Pencil. So just dotting more of those pieces around my page. I've done some stitching in black around the background page. And that's my little layering of my papers. And I decide that the actual background is too plain, so I've gone in here with a Tim Holtz stencil. And I think it's Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink, just to create some interest on the back and to pick up those um, stain marks from the staples. All the information about the products I use will be in the description box below the video if you're interested. So obviously here I've put some glue on the back of that page and I'm just gluing it, gluing it in place. As you saw there I lifted out some lace and I glued a portion down the left hand side but underneath my little layered piece and then I do or add another piece to the right hand side just to add a little bit of delicacy to it and obviously here I'm gluing it in place on my page um, deciding it looks very very blank it needs some sort of focal element but as I say I was struggling all the time with this um, not knowing what to do here I've got a piece of torn silk in neutral colours so I'm thinking I might add a portion of that. Then I decide to go in with a little bit of stenciling for um, interest and I'm using the same stencil that I used the texture paste through on the opposite page so I thought that would tie the two pages in together um, but it wasn't taking particularly well on the vintage papers um, so it it smudged pretty badly really, I wasn't happy with it. Um, just go in with a scrap of that vintage receipt that I used on the left hand side and here I've added a wax seal and some dots and some threads and here I'm just adding some um, shimmer mist gold splatters and you can see I go, go in and add them to the opposite page. And this is what my finished piece looks like for this prompt, which was layered. So I think I nailed it with the layering of papers, uh, although not a very inspiring one today. But thank you very much, as always, everybody, for watching. And I hope you'll join me for the next prompt, which is prompt number 11, Eclectic. So until then, bye-bye now.